Hey guys, what's up? JK with Elevated Recovery here, and today we're going to be talking about the withdrawal symptoms from porn addiction. There are many tough things that I've been through in my life, but one of the things that I won't go through ever again are the withdrawal <laughs> symptoms or the withdrawal pains from porn addiction. Now in this video, I'm gonna talk about the different withdrawal symptoms and some of the things that you can do to identify and alleviate them. This is so important because most guys who struggle with porn have no idea what these symptoms look like. Usually when I'm working with a client for the first time and you know he's successfully stayed off porn longer than he ever has in the past, usually a few weeks, I'll check in to see he, if he's experiencing any withdrawal symptoms and usually his response will be like, nah man, I feel the same. However, they may be experiencing something like becoming very irritable, having lots of insomnia, you know, inability to sleep, restlessness, random pains and aches all over their body, anxiety, crazy mood swings, and much more. And withdrawal symptoms from porn addiction are extra important because they are both physical and emotional. So when you can't identify these symptoms and you don't have a plan for dealing with them, you usually end up slipping or relapsing. Now, in my experience, working with recovering porn and sex addicts, withdrawal symptoms can last anywhere from 3 to 12 weeks. Sometimes less than 3 weeks, but rarely more than 12 weeks. So, how do we deal with these symptoms? The first thing you have to do, obviously, is identify your withdrawal symptoms. And the best time to do this is usually, let's say, you know how you get to like 7, 10, or 15 days, whatever the number is for you, before you usually relapse, when you get to that point where you're extremely horny, where you're so turned on that your mind keeps thinking of sex every moment, now that moment, and you know what I'm talking about, is the best time to identify your symptoms. Write them down, make a list, write, like whether it's insomnia, anxiety, mood swings, migraines, keep listing them down as they occur. Even if you're not sure, write them down. The second part is write down what you will do to handle or relieve each of your withdrawal symptoms. So of course, you know, you, you can't rely on, on porn or masturbation, but here are a few examples of what I've used in the past while I struggle with my withdrawal symptoms. For, for instance, when I experience mood swings, I would take a moment to write out my feelings. So if I was in a social situation, I'd pull out my phone, I'd write down, you know what, I feel, I feel annoyed. And next to it, I'll write out, I'll type out the way I feel. And I feel annoyed because Jessica made fun of my shirt or whatever. Then I ask myself, does Jessica's opinion of my shirt really count? Usually by this point, you start to realize how irrational your thoughts are. But you'll never find out unless you actually write them down. And when I was experiencing anxiety, I would simply take a moment to ask myself, you know what, JK, what's the worst possible thing that could happen? You know, back when I was in college and money was tight, I often experience anxiety connected to running out of funds or not being able to pay bills. Now, as a withdrawal symptom, my anxiety became quite unmanageable and it funneled into this fear of being broke. So in these cases, I would sit down and ask myself, JK, what's the worst possible thing that could happen? Then I'd write out the consequences and see if I could actually live with them or I would come up with some alternatives. So for instance, um, I might have my phone cut off because I can't pay the bill. So the alternative was getting a prepaid phone. Okay, it sucks, but that's what I would do uh, until I could afford to pay my, my bill. I could get kicked out of my apartment, fine. I could hit up my best friend and ask if it was cool if I crashed on his couch and paid him some money until I was able to get back on my feet. So these are examples, but when you write out the worst case scenarios and accept that you can handle it, your anxiety actually doesn't just disappear, it's always there, it just gets knocked down a few notches and it becomes more manageable and you can act in spite of it. So there are so many withdrawal symptoms and they actually vary from person to person. So if you'd like more exercises for every single withdrawal symptom, I've included them in my workbook for recovering porn addicts and it's called Simplify Your Reboot and you can pick up a copy using the link below and I left another one in the description for you guys. But I'm curious to know what are some of the withdrawal symptoms that you've experienced and how long did they last for you? I'm really curious. So please leave your feedback in the comment section below. And guys, listen, if you found this video helpful, take one moment and share it with at least three other guys that you know that are struggling with porn addiction or masturbation addiction or some sort of sex addiction. And if you 
a deep in your porn addiction, if it's tearing your family apart, if it's completely out of your control, no matter how many times that you try to compromise or you promise with yourself that you'll stop, reach out to me for a free one-on-one -on -one call. I've coached over 300 men one-on-one -on -one through recovery from their porn addiction. November this year is gonna mark 10 years of my sobriety from porn addiction. So I've been coaching for the past six years. Visit this link that you see here, also in the description. I have the experience, guys, I have the tools and I can deliver results. Whether you have 20 minutes or you have two hours, I will have an impact on your life. So take a moment to subscribe to my channel. And one more thing, when you subscribe to the channel, click on the little bell icon next to the subscribe button and you'll get notifications when I release a new video every week. I'm JK, your brother in this struggle, and I wish you all the best in your recovery from this behavior. Have a great day.